Good morning, wife family. I'm Leslie Taylor Warren. Welcome back to my living room. Today I have for you a yoga lobby session. So we're going to blend those two disciplines together as seamless and effective as possible, aiming to gain some strength, some mobility, and extra flexibility. Things that we always need to help us with every other kind of workout that we do. You only need a little bit of equipment for this. Your mat or towel, you always want something to protect your spine. A yoga strap, belt, towel, long towel, rope, something that's not stretchy that we'll use at the very end to assist with some of the last things that we're going to do. When we do some seated postures, if you know that your mat is not going to be enough to give you comfort and be able to sit tall in a neutral spine, grab a towel, pillow, something to give you that extra height. If you are really stiff, go ahead and take the time to warm up doing something walking around your house if you have an exercise bike. Whatever will work for you to get your body a little bit warmer. But if you're ready to begin, go ahead to the back of your mat. We're going to take our feet so they're one and a half fist distance. That means your fist will fit between them to armpit distance apart. I want you to find some comfort in your hips. We're going to start with Pilates roll downs. We're going to do four of them. One center, one to the right side one to the left side. That last one center will slowly take our way down. If you've never done a roll down before, let me turn sideways. I'm hoping you can see my hands here. As you lift up through, keep your feet rooted. Your fingers are spread and your palms are turning towards you. As we exhale and come back here, you're diving down through your head, reaching through those fingers. So if you're trying to scrape the wall that's beside you, and you're letting your hands hang underneath your shoulders and your armpits. You're not trying to bring them together or touch your legs. And you're keeping your legs long. We're starting to warm up those hamstrings. So you don't want to bend into a forward fold. We will have those, so don't worry. And then on the way back up, you press through your heels, tighten your belly, use those abdominals to draw yourself back up in reverse. So you scrape those fingers back up the wall, and you come back to start. That's what we're going to begin with. We'll start with one neutral. So again, find those feet. Take a big breath and exhale those arms up. Fingers are spread. Take another breath. Rotate the palms up. Exhale. One vertebrae or inch at a time. If there's a strain from the crown of your head, rolling down. Let your hands hang from those shoulders. Find that point that you're not grimacing from your hamstrings. You're not shifting your weight forward. Your heels are firmly cemented down. Keep breathing, take a breath, press through the heels, your entire feet roll back up one inch at a time, using your abdominals ahead as the last thing to come up. Lift up out of your ribs, just ever so slightly, not big, and we're gonna take this to the right. With your exhale, rotate those palms, palms out, reach for the sides of the room, through your fingers, looking outside your left knee, your left, your right knee, right little toes, hanging here, find that if you're cascading over, keep that weight on that left foot. Pause here, take a breath, go in reverse. One inch at a time, coming back up. Heads the last thing to stack back over top of your spine. And shove several little shoulders back in the joints. Lift up out of the ribs, come center, turn to the left side. Again, not trying to force, just go where you can keep your alignment and your hips forward. With your exhale, reach out through those fingers as you roll down to the side. Looking outside of this little toe and knee, just feeling the difference from side to side. Pause here for another breath. Stay heavy on that right side. And with your next exhale, use those lower abdominals. Draw yourself back up. Lifting up to the sky. Lift up. Come back center. Settle in for a moment. Paddle through your knees. Never shake joints. Very, very bad for them. Always pedal and move gently. Even that back out. Now with this next inhale, lift out of those ribs, we come back forward again as we started. Reaching for those side walls. Let everything hang for a moment. The crown of your head is looking down, your fingertips are looking down at each other. Long legs for a moment. Take a breath here. Exhale, soften the knees as you go into a forward fold. You should feel the transition from your hamstrings on up into your hips now. So the forward fold is four. Give yourself another pedal or two. Even out, and with your next breath, soften enough so you can walk yourself out to a high plank. We're not going to stay here long. Just find the position. 
fingers are spread wide. Take a breath. Exhale, lower one knee down at a time, and we're going to find our table. We're going to start with your hands. Look and see where they're at. Your index finger, or right beside the thumb, that should be the same line as your spine or the outer edge of your mat. And spread them wide so you're not dumping into your wrists. Don't try to grasp if, if you had basketballs. That puts too much pressure on your joints and will cause arthritis just as well as tenting will. Similar but different, but both the same bad end result. Keep them long, reaching long, and just equal pressure. Now take a peek at your biceps. Turn them forward ever so slightly. Go where they will go comfortably. Look at where your legs are at. Your knees should be underneath your hips. You go back here. And extend those toes long. If you don't have flexible feet, you may need to roll up your mat and put it underneath to give some support here so you're not dumping into your kneecaps. But if your feet are flexible, press the backs of your feet into the ground. But not overly bad, so you have a connection. And again, so you don't start dumping into your kneecaps. We're going to find our way to some easy cat cows here. We're going to inhale and lengthen our spine forward. Tailbone comes up, making a soft C shape, shoulder blades down. Exhale. Leading with the pelvis for both movements. Round right back knee. Inhale, pelvis leads, shoulder blades down, heart goes forward. Exhale, pelvis again leads. Arching the back to the sky. And inhale, good, heart to the front of the room. Exhale, rounding back through. And inhale, back to your cow. Exhale. Back to your cat. Let's get one more. Inhale. Find your cow. Exhale. Find your cat. Then we're going to find our strong table here. Find that pressure. Press the ground away. Draw the abs in towards your spine, up towards your diaphragm, the ribs. Draw your pelvic floor in. We're going to get a set of single and quadrupeds. So we're just going to keep making our way to a really nice strengthening flow. Keep the shoulder blades down. Extend your right arm forward. Thumb is always up. Pinky is always down. That way you're not closing off your rotator cuff and catching all those ligaments and tendons in your acromion joint. With an inhale, tap the arm down, moving through the space. Exhale, lift it back up. Stay steady on that opposite side. Lift back up for two. Inhale it down. Exhale it up. So don't start leaning as you're in your three limb table. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more here. Float it up. Pause. Fold to the elbow to bring it in. Give yourself a cat cow. Find that strong table again. Draw the abdominals in and up. Pelvic floor engaged. Extend that left arm forward. Stay steady on that three limb table. Don't start to rock, rock to your right. Press your pelvis to the left. Lift that arm with an exhale, tap down. Thumb is always to the sky. Tap two. Exhale up, tap three. Exhale up, tap four. Exhale up, and tap five. Bring that hand in, cat cow. Find your table and extend the right leg out behind you. Tuck your toes, send it long. Remember, this is for your back body, so you don't want to point through your toes. You're not going to hurt anything when we're lifting, but you're not going to get the benefit. So keep that foot flexed, and now squeeze your glute to lift that leg up. Make sure your toes are looking straight down and you're pushing through that heel. Go ahead, pause here at this three lift table and find that heel and just push your hips back to the right a little bit and make sure they're not cocked up to the sky as much as you can. With your inhale, tap the toes down, exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, tap, squeeze and lift too. And tap, squeeze and lift three. And tap, squeeze and lift four. And tap, squeeze and lift and hold here five. Draw your shoulder blades down. Find that levelness again. We are working our stabilizers here. So this, aside from giving you helpful instructions, this is on purpose holding it. It also builds heat. One more breath. Draw that leg in. Give yourself that cat cow. Find that table again, abs in and up, pelvic floor engaged. Tuck your left toes, slide them back, pause here for a moment. Give yourself that little stretch. 
peek through at your feet and see what they're doing. Make sure that it's not already rotated out or in. And squeeze through that glute. Now let's find our table levelness again. So you're not starting to lean one way or lean the other. Try to encourage your pelvis to stay in the middle or push it that little bit to the right side to help. Make sure that hip is enough. And here we go. Take a breath. Exhale, tap down. Inhale, squeeze through the glute to lift. So that's your butt. Inhale, lift and squeeze and lift. And tap, squeeze and lift through. Inhale, tap. Squeeze and lift four. Keeping those abdominals in as you find will make a difference. So the right parts are doing the right work. Stay here. Find your levelness again. Draw those shoulder blades down. Nice long neck. Good. Big breath. As you exhale, release. Draw that leg in. Give yourself a cat cow. Big breath here. Find your table and prepare to roll up on your knees. Use your lower abs and the upper. Draw yourself up. Big shoulder roll here. Take a peek back and see what your feet are doing. We're going to go into a standing warrior one and warrior two. Standing on our knees, that is. Then we'll hit lizard as we make our way back up. I like to hit things slow. You'll see lots of mobility mixed in. We're going to take that right leg forward. Keep it in line with your hips. I'm going to turn a little bit off to an angle so you can have a better view. And again, yep, work in stabilizers. Check out those back left toes. Make sure the middle toes in line with your heel and the back of the knee. Place your hands lightly on your hips and tip your hips down. Just that little bit of length. Feel your abdominals connect. Now let that right hip come a little back as the left hip comes forward and find your plane of glass here. Check out that knee to make sure it's over top of that ankle. And then float the arms on and up with an inhale. Spread your fingers wide. Keep your tailbone in place. Lift out of your ribs with an inhale. Exhale, close back down. Inhale, lift. Close for two. Lift and stay here. Now we have one more thing to add in. Squeeze your inner thighs together. But don't change your alignment. You're just adding more muscle. Yes, this is what you do when you stand in warrior one, two. They're supposed to kick in. That's what you should feel with that hip opening and the rotation. One more breath and we'll prepare for our warrior two on the side. Big breath in. Slowly let it go. With your next inhale, float that right arm forward, palm down, fingertip in line with the knees, middle toe. Left arm goes back. Watch where your shoulder's at. They usually like to do this. Keep it up. Drop your blade. Feet back to make sure your feet haven't moved. Now open up those hips to the left. Good. Make sure everything is in alignment. You may find your hips have opened it up. Then you can walk it forward, but don't do this. Keep that plane of glass, and then take your gaze to follow that right arm. Good. Big breath here. And another breath out. And with your next inhale, float the arms up towards the sky. Rotate to that left side. Connect your thumbs. Give yourself some length here. Keep the bottom body active. Keep those hips rotating out and away from you. One more breath. Lift up out of your ribs. Rotate back forward. Exhale the hands down as we go into a lizard. Watch your plane here. Shoulder blades are down. You're going to heel toe that foot out and away from you. Do you feel your glute? Maximus, the biggest part of your hip. You feel, I feel a little stretch. You're not going to feel a huge stretch, but you feel something there. Then pick up those toes and spin out. Let your knee fall open. Fan it back in. Let it fall open. Fan it in. And let it fall open. Just stay here for two breaths because we're going to get to do this again. One more breath. Let it go. And with this next breath, pick up your toes, walk it back in. Find the beginnings of your lizard again. Help with the leg if you need to. Send it back. Walk your legs wide. We're going to go into downward facing dog here. You can also use a chair. You can go into dolphin on your elbows. Find your comfort. But stay wide. Tuck your toes. Spread those fingers wide like we did earlier. Press your hips up and back. 
Pretend someone has you from your back pockets. Spin your biceps forward. Pull your shoulder blades up towards those hip pockets. And start to pedal through your dog. Just nice easy pedals. Don't run your dog. Just pedal, walk your dog very calmly, slowly. These can be as soft as you need, but keep that long, tall diagonal spine so you're pressing into the mat, not dumping into your hands. Biceps look forward, your hips keep going up to where the sky meets that wall. One more breath here. Pause with your dog, even the mouth, roll up on your toes, gaze forward through your thumbs, tight rope your way to the top of your neck. Find your forward fold. Be here one fist distance or two fist distance apart. You can connect your elbows. You can just let your hands hang. You can continue to pedal through for a couple breaths. Give yourself a little bit of time here. If you're circling through, go the opposite way. Even out. And we're going to place our hands on our shins to go into half lift. Heart comes up and forward, belly button in to protect the spine, giving your spine some length. Shoulder blades resting on the back, neck nice and long. With your next breath, lift up that left hand, and walk it to the right shin. Push that left hip back. Keep the neck nice and long. One more breath here. Bring that left hand back on its chin. Pick the right up, bring it up and over. Press that right hip back. Good. One more breath. Right hand and right shin, left hand on left. Soften through the knees, back into your fold. Rag down for a moment here. And then use a breath to bring yourself back up tall. Float the arms on up into Tadasana for a moment. If the hands connect, great. If they're not warm enough to connect, don't worry about it. And exhale them down through your heart center. Pressing right on in. Keep the fingers spread. Shoulder blades down. Inhale the arms back up. Let them touch for a moment and separate them. With an exhale, lift up out of the shoulder space. Keep your roots connected. Inhale, pull them down. Exhale, lift them up again. Pull them down. And exhale, lift them and pull them down. Let them connect. Find their way back down through heart center. Pause here. We're going to sit into a chair. Once you've got your hips back, check out where your feet are at. You should be able to see your toes with ease. Now, think of squeezing your inner thighs together, but don't let the knees move. Just find that sensation. If you just stop and take a fist there between, find that sensation, do so. But keep your alignment. Knees with your middle toe. Lengthen through your tailbone ever so slightly. Draw those abdominals in. Draw them up and pelvic floor if you need. Think long, tall, diagonal with your spine. Lift up your toes from the big toe bone now, all the way to the little ones. And then go back from the outside in, reconnecting and sending them long. Keep pushing those hips back, keep lengthening. Good. One more breath here. And exhale down to your fold. We prepare to walk out into our plank. And we're going to get some push-ups and some mobility movements. So if you want to go to half plank, make sure to do so. Give yourself another breath and then find your plank. Whether you're up in full plank or whether you're in half plank. Fingers are spread wide. Index finger line with your spine, no matter where you're at. Push through your heels. If you're here in that half plank, squeeze those inner thighs together. If you're here in a low plank, extend those toes out long. Put that roll if you do have half flexible arches, so you're not dumping into your knees. Also, squeeze your inner thighs together. Everybody's going to drop those shoulder blades and just shift your body weight forward. And then shift it back. Shifting it forward. Shift it back. And forward again. And back. And forward again. And back. 
and forward. Back one more time, battering it up. Find your half plank again if you're in half plank. Find your full plank if you're in full plank. Now shift your weight to the right and back center. Inhale it over, keep those hands steady. Take it over three and steady. Take it over four and steady. Last one there, pause center. Find your good plank again if you lost it. Now shift your weight to the left side and center. And over, as you see, I keep just demonstrating for both levels. Over three and center. And you're going, oh, we still have push ups? Yes, you do. And center. One more here. Come back center. Pause here. Everybody come down to half plank. Push back into child's pose. I'd like you to keep your knees close together to start with. We will do knees wide to get our hips too, so don't worry. Keep the arms long and active. Keep pressing the hips back. Keep reaching back through your toes. One more breath here. Exhale, use your abs to come back up. Lock your hands in to give yourself a cat cow. Or two if you need it. Now find your push-up position. We have five wide arm push-ups. You can stay in table right here. You can go up and quickly go to a wall. You can go in full military, but everybody has to be in good position. I'm just going to go in the middle here. Hands are wide, shoulder width apart. Elbows are going out and not past your elbows. Those index fingers in line with your spine. Yes, we're working our stabilizers here. Again, she's going to go, but that's good for you. You have to. It's necessary. Abs are in and up. Make sure, especially if you're on a wall or using a, a table, that your hands are in line with your armpits, just like you would on the floor. Now shift your weight a little forward. Take a breath. Exhale, look. Inhale up. Lead with your forehead. And up. Not with your nose. And up. There's four. And up. And five. Press up. Find your table. Give yourself a cat cow and prepare for your next set of quadrupeds. Good. Let's extend that right arm forward. Plug that arm in. Good. Tuck those right toe, left toes, excuse me. Send that leg back. Squeeze the glute to float that leg up. Pause here for a moment. If you can release a little bit of your abdominals to work them, do so. But if you need to keep that to keep everything stable, please do that. Left toes are looking down. Right toes are looking back. Take a breath here. Exhale, tap your belly and tap the limbs. Squeeze, lift them back up. Exhale, tap. Squeeze, lift up two. Exhale, tap. Squeeze, lift up three. Exhale, tap. Squeeze, lift up four. Exhale, tap. Squeeze, lift and hold. Now take that right arm and turn the palm down towards the ground. Yep, just like how I told you not, but we're going to operate our plane. Squeeze that shoulder, pull it down so that arm is now perpendicular to your spine. Take your awareness to that left foot. Rotate outward through your hip. Good, now draw that leg forward using your quad, bring it towards your ear. Keep your hips nice and level. Nice big breath here. On your exhale, bring that arm back forward, fold it in, bring it down, bring the leg back in alignment, rotate it down, bring it in, give yourself a big heck cow. Prepare for your opposite side. Go ahead. Extend that left arm forward, shoulder blades plugged in, thumbs up. Send that right leg back, toes are tucked. Go ahead, squeeze your glute to lift. Do what you need to be safe with your abdominals for your spine. Take a breath here. Exhale, tighten the belly, tap down. Inhale, squeeze, lift, float back up. Exhale, tap down. Up for two. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up three. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up four. Exhale, tap. Float it up and hold here for five. Good. Now spin that left palm down. Use your shoulder blade to draw that arm back. Good. Fingers are just spread, helping you send that energy. Turn that right foot down, linking with your hip. Now draw it forward. Use your quad as you're in an awkward airplane on this side. Yes. Nice big breaths. Full breath in. Full breath out. Big breath in. And big breath out. Hold for another breath. 
is as we come in, we're going to prepare to go for child's pose again. We're going to get their posing way. And then we have wizard warrior one and warrior two to do on the other side in that reverse order. So gently pull through that arm to bring it in. Rotate that right leg back down. Bring it down to the ground. Give yourself a big cat cow. Take the legs wide to sit back in the child's pose for a moment. Take the pressure off your wrists. Give yourself two breaths here. Nice full breaths. Get the heart rate back under control. And then with your next inhale, start to draw the arms back. Walk the legs back in alignment. And we're prepared to stand on our knees. Using your core to draw yourself back up. Take that peek back as we have our warriors to do now standing on our knees. Then we'll hit that little lizard again. Lengthen through your tailbone. Help the leg if you need it as you draw your left leg forward this time. Make sure the knee is over top of the ankle. Toes are reaching forward. Peek back to make sure that the other leg didn't go and leave. Sometimes they turn in, sometimes they start to wobble. The shin will lift up and make sure it's planted firmly or you've got that whatever you need underneath your ankle if your feet are not flexible. Now find what your hips are doing. Bring them down to the ground with that little bit of length. Let that right hip come forward as that left hip comes back, keeping that knee right over top of that ankle. All four, four parts of that foot is down on the ground. With an exhale, float the arms on up, keep the shoulder blades down, lift up out of the, the ribs with a breath. Good. Now add that inner thigh, squeeze in, add that little bit of work. Good. Nice breaths here. If you can stay forward, you can follow your hands up and a little bit more of a balance challenge. Sometimes it's easily forgotten how much of a challenge it is to do some of your standing postures on your knees. Good work all the way around. One more breath here. With your exhale, lift up onto the shoulders, ever that slight bit. Start to open up the hips. We'll find the warrior two. You might be able to open up a little bit further now, being a little bit warmer, a little bit more mobile, and walk that left a little bit more forward. Keep that knee over top of the ankle. Good. Left hand follows the left knee, middle finger in line with the kneecap and with the toe as the right hand. Check out, make sure that right shoulder didn't just drop on down. Keep lifting on the ribs and let your gaze follow that left side. Keep opening up the hips as they allow. Good, nice breaths here. Feel that rotation of your outer thighs. Hips should be just melting. With your next inhale, float up. Grab the opposing thumb this time. Grab the side that's not natural. Make sure both sides work and rotate your gaze and your torso forward. Keep that plane of glass between your hips. Don't start to lean into it like this. Keep that hip stacked. And we'll lift up and breathe. Big breath here. As you exhale, let it go. Bring the hands down inside as we go into our lizard for this leg. Find your neutral spine. Make sure you're not hunched like an iguana. So don't just instantly drop to your elbows. You miss a lot of the stretch out of your glutes if you do that. You really do. Start to walk the foot out. You'll toe it till you find that stretch in that big part of the glute. Then stay there. Pick up the toes. Let that knee fall out. Then draw it back in. Let it fall out again. And then keep your hands flat and let it stay out. Draw your shoulder blades down, push that tailbone long, nice long neck, and just let that open. Full breaths here. Big breath in and a big breath out. One more breath. As you let it go, Pull the knee back in, heel toe your way back in, pump the leg if you need to. Draw it back in, give yourself a big cat cow. We're going to prepare to make ourselves our way back up one more time. Some standing mobility work. We're going to hit those planes standing. If you know that's not comfortable for you and you want to stay down on your knees and hit your warrior one and warrior two down here, go right ahead. 
Otherwise, tuck your toes, take them wide. We're going to find that wide dog again. We have a little bit of work while we're there to do as well. So that nice slow. So press back. Find your dog. The fingers are spread. Not dumping into your wrist. Turn those biceps forward. Press those hips back. Knees can be as soft as you need to. You can keep that long diagonal spine. Belly is in and up. Pelvic floor engaged. Give yourself a pedal here. I want to be here for a moment. Find some more length in those hamstrings. Then make sure your toes are facing forward with an inhale. Roll up through the calves. Exhale, lower down. Inhale up again. Exhale down two. Inhale up three. And down. Inhale up four. Check your fingers. Make sure they're down. Inhale up five. Let those heels drop. Press back some more through those shoulders. Prepare to shift your weight over to that left side, but don't let that right arm come up. You're just going to a three-legged table. Flex your right foot and start to lift the leg. Keep your hips nice and level. Good. Now, press back some more through those arms. Squeeze the glute to lift the leg. Release. Squeeze and lift. Release two. Squeeze and lift. Release three. Pause there. Rotate out from your femur. So you use your leg to rotate out. Rotate in. Rotate out. And then again. And rotate out. Rotate in. Now turn it inwards. Back down to the ground. Inhale in. Exhale down. Inhale in. Back down. Fold through the knee, point your toe, lift up through the leg, fold that hip up and over to arabesque. Keep your weight over to that right side. The tendency is to come up off that hip. We're not going to go into wild thing from here. We're opening up through that hip. Go ahead and keep pressing back through those arms, staying nice and steady. One more breath here. Roll the hips back down. Keep the toes up. Good. Now fire hydrant here. Lift that knee up. Squeeze that glute. Lower down. Lift it up. Lower two. And lift. Lower three. Fold. Bring it down. Keep it wide. Pedal through. Two more pedals here. Check where your hands are at. Make sure those fingertips are still connected. Make sure your shoulders are back. Prepare for side two as you're still in and up. Three limb table, just float that left leg up, keep it long, keep the hip level, push through the heel. Just pause here for a moment. Good. One more breath here. Just squeeze and lift the leg, release, squeeze and lift, release, squeeze and lift, release. Rotate out, turn it down, inhale out, exhale down, inhale out three, exhale down. Inhale, turn it in, turn the toes down, turn the toes in, turn the toes down, turn the toes in, turn it down. Keep pressing back through those arms, pull through that leg, point your toes, lift up through the leg and open up through the hip. Keep that weight steady on the left side of your body. Good, let that hip just open up very nicely. Pressing the hips back as well as the hips folding up. One more breath here. Gently rotate the hips back down so everything is level. Fire hydrants here. Lift that knee by squeezing the glute. Lower down. Lift and squeeze. And lower. You're almost there. Lower down. I told you there'd be some work with the mobility. Roll that foot down. Pedal through. Look through your thumbs. Lift up on your toes. Tight rope your way into a well-deserved forward fold. Good. Rotate through your wrists here. Let your head hang. Let your knees be soft. Rotate those wrists. Now go the opposite way. Now lift up your toes. Stick your fingers underneath your feet. Give your wrists a nice little stretch here. And your upper back. One more breath here. Knees as soft as you need as always. Bring the hands back out. Spread them wide. They don't have to touch the ground. Just spread them wide. And let them relax. With your next inhale, prepare yourself. Exhale, peel yourself up. Use your abs to come up to standing. Of the arms on up. Good. Find your Tadasana for a moment. Catch your breath. That was a big series. 
Exhale, hands down to your heart center. Big shoulder roll. Take some awareness of your feet. We're going to step forward with that right leg. Take a breath here. Shift your weight to that left side. Pull up through the quad. Tighten that glute. If you need to go the opposite way, please go the opposite way. Otherwise, step forward or back. We're going in warrior one, so not a huge step, not like warrior two. Find that front foot, find that knee over top of the ankle, kneecap in line with the middle toes. Now see if you can straighten up and keep your hips looking forward. If you can't, shorten your step a little bit. Find those forward hips, good. Now take a peek down at that back leg, your left leg, pick up your toes. If it's not 45 degrees, don't go past 45 degrees. If it's not there, Turn it out. Straighten. Pretend you're pushing something away with the back of your leg. Feel all parts from the big toe ball mom all the way down around to the inside. It's pushing the ground away. Now check out that front foot. Let your tailbone drop. Make sure those hips are still nice and level when you're playing the glass. Right hip is coming back. Left hip is forward. Lift up the ribs with an inhale. Float the arms on up. Excellent. Now, squeeze your inner thighs together. Good. Check out your alignment to make sure nothing left. So that left knee didn't fold in on you. Or the right hip start to shift and the knee go off somewhere that you don't want it to. One more breath here. And we're, with an inhale, we're going to make our way on into our warrior two. With this one, it's easier to lift up and step forward to give yourself that length to open up the hips or wiggle the back foot. Then take your attention to where your feet are at. That right foot should be in alignment somewhere from the heel to the ball of that left foot. Good. And make sure no more than 45 degrees. Do not turn it out perpendicular to the edge of your back of your mat. That's called the, you'll, you'll need some therapy for your knee. It doesn't take much to pull it out of alignment in that position there. Our, Thighs are not in the same position as they are for triangle or bound angle. You have a slightly different variation for your hips, so keep your knees safe. As this keeps opening up, you can keep wiggling the front foot forward. Keep your gaze with that hand. Make sure that back arm hasn't started to drop. And your spine is over top of your pelvis. You don't want to be a weenie lunging warrior. Your strong, tall warrior who's opening up for hips or his hips. One more breath here, and with this exhale, drop that left hand, going into reverse order, spin the palm, soften, turn your hips forward as if you were to go back to warrior one, lift up out of those ribs. Just feel that nice length there, and then we're going to add a little bit to it. Use your quad to straighten that right leg for just a brief moment. Give yourself a little bit more out of those hip flexors. With your inhale, fold back in, bring your arm back down, float the arms up, find your warrior two again. Now with your next breath, lower that front arm and lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, lift, pause. Turn it in, good. Fold it in, bring the other arm. Let them clasp. Take a breath. Exhale, rotate forward. Inhale, back center. Exhale, rotate. Center two. Exhale, rotate. Center three. Exhale, rotate. Center four. Exhale, rotate. Stay here. Find your warrior two one more time. Feel a little bit more freeness in your ribs. Maybe a little bit more in the hips as well. With your next breath, float the arms on up. Take awareness to your toes, pick up the right, turn them in, keep that left turn in, walk your way out. We're not going to go to a headstand, don't worry. Find some openness in your hips. Fold the arms down, gently find a neutral spine. Take the hands out towards your shins, don't rest them on your knees, either on your thighs, on your shins, or clasp lightly behind your back. Keep your nice neutral here. Another breath in, another breath out. And soften through your knees, press up through your glutes. Spin out through your feet and drop into goddess. For just a moment, lengthen through the tailbone. 
Walk the arms up, find your right angle. Kneecaps are going with your middle toe. Big breath here. We'll push up and go into star. Float the arms down, and we're going to go to our opposing side. So now you're going to pick up that right foot, which is going to be your new back leg. Rotate it in. Pick up that left, and you're going to make a little bit shorter stance to find your warrior one on this side. So find that space, left knees over top of the left ankle, and then find where your hips will be with that back leg. Remember, the legs can stay nice and wide. So find that stance, shorten it or lengthen it, most likely you're going to need to shorten it. Now press back through that back leg, again, no more than 45 degrees. Feel the feet connect with the earth. That nicely plain glass of hip, lengthen down through the tailbone. Keep that left knee over top of the ankle. Kneecap is looking at the middle toe. Knit through the ribs. Pull through the arms. Send them to the sky. With the breath, lift up out of those ribs. Fan your fingers. And now squeeze those inner thighs together. Nice breaths here. I wiggle myself so much from now on. Until I looked at myself here. Come on, whoa, where's my body? Give yourself another breath here. And then as you exhale, let's find our way into our final side of warrior two today. Either lift up and step back or walk that left foot forward, whichever works better. And then take a glance at your alignment. Make sure that left heel is somewhere between the ball and the heel of your right foot and your back foot. Again, don't spin that back foot out more than 45 degrees. That's its maximum. You should feel your outer thighs open up here. Those hips are turning off to the right. Shoulder blades are down. Check out what that back arm is doing, that it hasn't gotten a little bit going. <laughs> Nobody knows what's going on back here. I'll just drop and rest here. Make sure it's still fully active. Those hips keep opening up. And as it opens, adjust with it. You should be nice and warm now, and compared to when we did it on the floor with our first lizards, things should be even more open for you. And then if you're starting to do this, bring yourself back upright, lengthen back down to that tailbone. Again, you don't want to be a leaning warrior. Everything is stacked over top of your pelvis. Go ahead. Another breath here. And as you exhale, drop that right hand. Rotate through the left. Bring the hips forward as if you're going back to warrior one. Lift up out of those left ribs into reverse warrior. Keep the knee in alignment. One more breath. And then we will use that quad to straighten up. We'll lift up a little bit more to give you something to that hip flexor. Keep those hips going forward. And then let's exhale, find our warrior two again. Find that nice tall warrior. Knees is following that front hand. And lower that arm down. Lift it up. Lower it down. Don't collapse on your arches. Lower down three. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale, float up. Reach to those fingers. Stay up. Rotate that palm in. Bring them to find each other. Let your torso go with it. Exhale, turn and center. Exhale, turn. Center two. Exhale, turn. Center three. Drawing that belly button in, center four. One more here, find your warrior two. Maybe you have a little bit more rotation now, getting that movement in. And some of the beauty of bringing some of the mobility movements through mat Pilates, mixed in with left yoga, to give you a really nice workout and a lot more opening with flexibility and mobility. One more breath here. We're going to exhale our arms on up, rotate your torso, looking upside, pick up those toes, walk them back out, toes are in, float your arms out at the side, and you find your way into that nice standing table here. Take your right hand down, if it connects with the ground, great, but don't tap your fingers, just let your arm hang, or go for your knuckles. Spread the fingers if you can. Rotate on up, shoulder blade down, follow it with your gaze. Take another breath here. 
Let it go. And fall to the elbow. Change. Bring your left hand down. Float on up. Your legs have you for support. Your hands just there for guidance. So don't press through the hands. It should be really, really soft. Another breath here. Hold, bringing the hands down. Lift forward for a moment. Pull the shoulder blades down. Then gently fold through the knees. Walk your legs in to a wide, a less wide forward fold. Soften. Walk your legs through. And then gently, one by one, lower yourself down to find your table again. Give yourself a big cat cow. And then we're going to find our seat. This is where you're going to need your strap, towel or rope, whatever you have that's not stretchy. We're going to keep our right leg out and long. Fold the left in at our side. We're going to take whatever you have handy and place it around the ball of your foot. Then start to wiggle the flesh out as you're pulling those toes back towards you. Give yourself a moment and lift up your shoulders. See if you can pull that left knee in towards you a little bit more. Keep your right hand on the rope. Send that left hand to the sky. Open up behind you. Keeping everything stable. Just think of lifting up out of the ribs and turning more with that gentle pull. Staying really tall through your spine. See, Merlin even approves this. If you're going, oh, cat approves it, so it's got to be good, right? Another breath here. We're going to go in reverse. Fold to that elbow. Lift on up. Change hands with your rope. Go ahead. Send it to that side. Walk the foot in a little bit more. Walk that leg towards it. Keep pushing evenly through the foot. So don't let it turn and rock out. And check out your kneecap and your toes are that. Lift on up. And fold the opposite way. Keep those hips in a nice alignment. You should feel a nice stretch. So those hip flexors on that left side. Right side, excuse me. And going down your lats if they're tight. One more breath. Pull back to that right hand. Send it to the sky. Release your rope. Change sides. Give yourself that little wiggle as you're getting everything in alignment. Bring that leg up. It's not really close right now. We're just working on pulling this on in. Sitting up tall. Then get the flesh out. Bring the rope in that left hand. Good. Then start to walk it in a little bit. Send the arm to the sky. Reaching up and around and behind. Opening on up. Staying really tall. Shoulder blades are down. Lifting your chest to the sky as you're pulling the toes towards you and pushing that heel away. Stay nice and tall. Another breath here. And pull back to the elbow. Lift up. Come back forward. As we change hands, walk that leg in tight. Walk that foot right in. Float up to that left arm. Bring your way on back to the side. Lifting up tall through the chest. Feel that nice stretch in your hip flexor and possibly down your lats if they're really tight. Another breath here. Hold through the elbow. Always do that for safety versus just bringing it around. It's so hard on your collarbones after time. And gently bring that down. Keep this down by your feet as we make our way down. A little bit of ab work here. Knees are soft. Toes are forward, kneecaps looking up, both fists will fit between. Inhale, rock through your pelvis. Exhale, hollow out those abs. Use those lower abs. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, pause. Make sure your hands are right about knee height. Open up the knees, fold them in. Open up the knees, fold them in. Open up the knees, fold them in. Inhale your way back up, move through your pelvis, stack your spine. Exhale, open up the knees, drop the hands. Inhale back up. Exhale. This is a dolphin, one of many dolphins. And back down for three, two more. 
Here's four, draw those abs in. Last one here. Pause for a moment. Open up the right arm with an inhale, squeeze the shoulder blade, then close and open and close. Take it to the ceiling and down and ceiling and down. Left side, open, close, open, close, ceiling, down, ceiling, down. Inhale your way back up, close the knees, lift up out of your wrist to give yourself a forward fold. One breath, and then gently roll up. Walk yourself so you're pull, pull, totally supported on your mat. Roll down one vertebra at a time if you can. Otherwise, roll to your side. You don't want to do this to go down. That's so bad for your back. Use care and support yourself. Grasp your strap. Find it with your feet, both feet. Draw the knees in first to make sure you have it in position. Keep your elbows on the ground if you can. Press your feet to the sky. Find that two fist is apart here. Just push the heels up. Pretend you've got a big kindergarten pencil between your feet. Draw this forward, moving through your leg bolts. Keep your pelvis on the ground. Don't roll up. Press, draw three or four inches back. Draw that forward. Take it back again. Draw it forward. And stay back. Stay heavy on your pelvis. Keep your feet nice and level. Don't let them buckle in or roll out. Heels are going to the sky. Give yourself another breath here. Then bring the feet close together. Same thing. Draw it in. Draw it out. Draw it in again. Take it out. Come back in. Watch your wrists. And take it out. Make sure your wrists are in good alignment. Stay heavy on your pelvis. Push through those heels. This is where the wall meets the sky. My quilt is getting in the way. Sorry. One more breath. Bring the legs back up over top and take them as wide as you comfortably can. Again, keeping the feet nice on straight. Don't let them rock in or rock out. Draw that forward. Draw it back, draw it forward, keep your wrist straight, and back, and take it forward. And if they keep, if they'll keep opening up, keep opening up. I grabbed my short strap today, so I'm going to have to go strapless. One more breath here. Fold them back in. If you have to get away from your strap, grab your strap back. Bring your knees in for a moment. Bring the soles of your feet together as you try and find an angle to finish. Keep the elbows down and on the ground. Drawing the heels down. Keep your toes up to start. When you find that spot, you may be able to touch your hips. Maybe they're a few inches above, but stay where you can breathe through it. They're not bracing. Then lower them down to the ground. Let your strap just release on your thighs. Instead of pretending someone is standing on your knees trying to push them down or you instantly want to take your hands, keep your hands away from them and pretend there's somebody on the other side of you pulling those knees from your basement and opening up. You get a much more effective stretch than trying to push them down or pretend somebody's standing or you've got bricks on your legs. And if you need to put your fists underneath your thighs to give yourself a little grounding, and then they're open in two, or if you have yoga blocks, or if you grab pillows, put those underneath there to give you the grounding to let everything start to relax. Give yourself two more full breaths here. Big breath in. And if you want to stay longer, just let this keep going on afterwards and stay longer because it's opening up. But after that second breath, if you're ready, Hold one knee at a time by squeezing your glutes, bring the kneecap to the sky. Hug your knees in again so when you do finish, make sure you do do this. Give yourself a couple of big circles from side to side. Getting the sacral notches or rocking side to side. And then lower one leg down at a time and always come up off your better side. I thank you for joining me today for this workout. I hope you get a lot of benefit off of it. Keep staying safe. Keep taking care of yourself. Stay calm, stay healthy.